hello this is the real my art of chemmet goddess of justice tools balance and harmony so this is a quick update before uh, the whole of kenyan people decide like i said the kenyan people doesn't decide it is the elites who are controlling our resources that decide who they gonna elect their leader because they want to support the status quo that is what all they do and because our ancestors have spoken we now have uh, professor wazakoya <laughs> my cosmic son when you align you are aligned with everything and thank you very much for my ancestors and all the Kemetian de deities the moon and the sun the yin and the yang the good and the evil it's all about balance balancing these uh, two principles the left the hemisphere brain hemisphere and the right uh, brain hemisphere that is all that is all about whenever you come here in order for to allow the other sentient being to ex coexist with us so today i'm here at my matrimonial home um i normally do come on uh, uh venus day that is friday or maybe saturn day saturn day and i spend like uh, two days with them uh with my family my family um comes first even if there is in differences and also even if we are living in separate ways our family matters because the family is the stable uh, of uh, my art so our families matters the relationship whatever is going on and there's so much that is going on here in the in our families for example for now I have a house girl who uh, has been brought by the concubine, one of the <laughs> one who you know the concubine, and now she has been bringing these girls in my house, and I'm warning you, Joan Manji, you better stop that, my sister. You better stop that because I know your family. You come from the colonial supporters, the sympathizers, those who betrayed the Mau Mau. In order for you to do anything you feel like, all the evils, everything that we, that was regarded as a taboo here, That is what you are doing now but you can see for yourself the reason why we restricted or we had this taboo in our society something we call in my native language that is Mubi and Gekoyo direct Mugiro Kanadahu these two things and the one that is circulating within our families also incest, drunkenness, prostitution, all of these demons that came with the white supremacy, the Roman Catholic, because that is their way. That is what the, their culture entails, and we are not like them. We have our culture here, and we have to respect our culture. So, to make this short, our ancestors have spoken and because the election are scheduled to be held on Tuesday I think it's um, Mercury Day or Mars Day the ruling parana should be ruling um, is Mars On this uh, Tuesday, 9th 
but me I'm not voting I refuse to submit to your games all these skills you have created here all this madness you have created here I won't come back to you and vote for you again so for in order for you to continue doing whatever you are doing like all these people that has we are seeing uh, in the placards in the banners in the in the adver adverts yeah yeah the same same people in the previous government and they are still in government government but they are telling us they are not in the government now look at the inflation here everything is costly like you, that whenever you turn right and left all that you can see is houses houses so like i said our ancestors have spoken now it's the time for me to take charge yeah this is my son come come say hi i have never introduced you come say hi yeah so he's called Jagger, Lawrence Jagger. <laughs> he's a hard Samson boy. <laughs> so he never knows what I normally do, but I always tell him I'm with him. And the youths that are like him, I'm with him because I care. They are our future, our children. <laughs> and so I'm so proud of him like now he has grown tall and I thank the ancestors for that for protecting my children for taking care of my children in my even in my absence I do really really appreciate because without you I couldn't accomplish whatever I'm doing back there at Rimuru yeah thank you very very much from the bottom of my heart i do really really appreciate my ancestors shout out to you my ancestors shout out to all to you who have been supporting me whenever i'm down despite our indifferences every time the universe is reminding us that we are one I'm your reflection, you are my reflection. So, like I said, the ancestors have spoken once again, and this time is my time. And I nominate myself as a cabinet minister for interior. Interior, what do we call it? Let me check on the book that position because i kind of have uh, forgotten yes it's a supposition that is uh, held by the cabinet minister fred matiangi yeah this is the position i used to come and hold so we know our lad our central kenya the lad of uh, mobi and gekoyo it's surrounded by the mountain and those mountains are uh, aligning with our constellations our star system and mount zion mount kirenyaga mount kenya as what some people call it we are the custodians of this uh, mountain and this entry or for the period that the uh, ruling of the pharaoh Uhuru Kenyatta all this time our mountain has been misused by so many people even those in the secret society darkly secret societies they are coming here and manipulating our energy, the energy of our mountain, which is very, very sad. 
and people need to stop this. This Maute doesn't belong to everybody. It's not for every community, for every tribe. This mountain, we can not own it, but we are custodians of our mountain, Mount Kenya. So this is an appeal to everybody who is misusing our energy and the energy of our mountain. Please stop doing this because this time we are living in perilous time and our ancestors are not happy. Our deities are not happy. All other animals are not happy. The elements, the five elements of earth are not happy. The marine kingdom is not happy. For what is going on? We have been terrorizing them. But I, me, I'm not, I'm excluding myself, I'm not there. So to those who are manipulating her, huh? Please stop doing this. Mother Earth is not happy. So you better change your wicked ways. So the position I was saying that I normally met myself is um, Ministry of Interior and Coordination of National Government in Mount Kenya. Yeah, why should we have another person from other community who are um, here doing all the work and also living like a fugitive also in my own land and space, the space that has been infiltrated by this evil, by every each other communities, people from other communities who are who do bad things and heinous things, they are vertical things in their space, they are adding up coming here. And when the inflation is hitting us, we are also included, we are suffering in between, because when they, they, they raise the prices of the food for the sake of capitalism, we are the one who are suffering. And these communities, all the others, they are using their voodoo, their magic on us, black magic on us. My tribe, this is very bad, and you need to stop that. All these communities here, like now, today, I cannot spend my normal uh, Sunday in this house. We have a house, a house girl, that is what we call, popularly know them here, a nanny. And you can see my children are all grown up, but she cannot do anything. She, she's just here to be seen or just to be, like everybody want to know that we have a house a housekeeper who is not even competent. She doesn't know what she's doing. And these bureaus, we are coming here to manipulate these girls. These girls are coming from their dad. They are some, some of them are prostitutes juvenile delinquent like this one we i have currently now when i ask her why she came out of uh why what she's, do, she's doing here she told me that uh her she had a quarrel with her parents and she just like came out of her own space at a very young girl so you can see she has been everywhere doing all sorts of things and whenever she come here she was opening those portals for these uh entities Hmm? Dark entities. We live in the world of projection. So whatever she has been experiencing, she just comes here and uh, do the same thing. And because of this, we are saying back to the said that we don't want those kind of problem here, please. And I'm encouraging my people here the people who are natives, the real natives here, not the hybrid of other communities we have here, the pure breed, the pure bloodline, those that has never mixed their blood, they always come here as a Koyo and Mobi tribe. They have never even uh, aspired to be married in other communities like the Saraudi communities. 
I remember during our ancestor time, the people who were, we were close, uh, we knew the beings who were close, uh, closer to us or we resonated with them so much, are the Sumer people, well, who, 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 who we call them as um, Walia here. They are, they are, they are Suma. Mm -hmm. They are still here, being considered as uh, illegal immigrants. And our government needs to stop doing this to these people. There are those who come from, uh, I don't know where they come, and they always tell them that they are illegal. So we are sharing one Africa, borderless Africa. I'll be applying borders whenever I feel like, like this is necessary for this community you not know, to come beyond this point. For the sake of other communities, they are fighting here. Because there is so, so much that is going on. So like I said, our ancestors have spoken. This time is my time. And I say, I've said my position that I'm nominating myself. Our Aizagas are still here, our soldiers. Salud, Dadut, Mau Mau, much respect. For you did not set out. You did not set out like the other people who sold us, and now they are considering us, we are not like part of them. We don't belong in this space because they want to continue doing whatever they want to continue doing without being questioned. It has never gone like that way in our land here, in, a, in our chemist. Hotep, Isis, Amuna, Sobek, Gab, Nuit. Shout out to the all the Orishas. Shout out to the Ghanaian people, my Nigerian people, who are keeping it real, authentic, who are just sacrificing their time and energy to talk the truth about Africa. We have been humiliated for a very, very long time, and this is the time for the change. So, like the way of a safarian, us, we don't, we don't go to the barrel to vote. Our way is the way of Emperor, Empress Menen and Emperor Hel Silasie, coronation. This is what we want. And Uhuru Kenyatta, you better hand over your, the crown to the Majakoya. The ancestors have spoken. They don't want to remind you who they have chosen. You know how they come. They won't come to you directly. And like I said, because you are all caught up in these solutions, the other possession, you are the one who is going to suffer so much. You owe everything, the skyscrapers belongs to you, the, mo the malls belongs to you, the hotels belongs to you. So you better not wait till we have chaos here. Do it now, at this time, at this present moment. Hand over the crown to Ajakoya. Yeah. Hand over, Sekhmet, 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 I forgot about you. She, he's here. The one of the Sebi's kitten. Shout out to you, Sekhmet. Shout out to you, Bastard. Anubi is the protectors of our home. Shout out. So, I've been sipping. Uh, this is a horn of our, of our cattle. Nowadays, it's like the, our cattle, our indigenous cattle is getting extinct. And as a vegan also, I've said that these are the things that I would be losing myself, like this one. I'll just keep it as a symbol to remind us that our indigenous cow matters to us so much 
because they are having um, people now learn to other spe uh, species, the crossbred uh, uh, cattle, the hybrid, the genetically modified uh, cattle, the artificial um, insemination um, uh, fertilization um, life, cattle that are being um, produced that way, not in a nature with swear, where it entails two uh, aspects, that is the male and female aspect. These are the cattle that we are, we have reared here. So many people have reared me, have not reared. So many people have reared here. Mm -hmm. people, the cattle that need a lot of uh, artificial feeding also, from artificial stuff. I've been seeing this uh, stuff being sold in the agro -fest. Yeah, and to feed this cow, the artificial cow. And people don't know the milk that they are taking is full of this toxin. The bacteria also is also present with this kind of uh, species. Species that are crossbred also have low immunity. Brucella is one of them. Strepococcus is another also bacteria that is very, very available in the milk that they are taking. And these are like a packaged uh, milk. We don't know whether it's uh, boiled in a, uh, in a um, clean place. We don't know whether it's boiled in a clean place. We don't know. We don't know how it's treated. We have never seen these uh, companies because they belong to the Kenyatta's families. They are the owners of the um, milk, all the milk that is produced around in the Mount Kenya region people, especially the people of Gilogori. They like, have uh, like every house, every household uh, is uh, do have this kind of uh, cattle. So, as a way of healing our um, our uh, people, uh, particularly the Edagas, especially the men, they have been uh, been uh, I don't know like there is this alcohol, uh, chemical poison alcohol. I don't know whether it's what is it's made of that is being sold publicly, but when it comes to our brews, they don't want to see our brew. Uh, Moratina, and I was today. I mean, today it was it yesterday. No, on that day, I was I went somewhere in Gedogoy, and I happened to go for this brew because one of my son, the other son, who is um I've named after my father. Jega is a uh, I've named. Uh, let me not call him Rodens because even the English word don't concur with me so much, especially these days. So, Mwangi is, I've named him after my late father. I lost my father last year, 2021, 20, on December. He had a heart, heart attack, heart attack and uh, he collapsed and that was the end of him. But as we all know that there is no death, death is an illusion. <laughs> so I had to honor him in this way. So today is like I bathed him with the crown chakra with, the, with our traditional brew, Muratina, very sweet. It's made of honey, sugar cane. And we ferment it in the in the, some things we call muratina, those uh, that uh, come from the sausage tree. And so it, it has uh, medicinal properties also. This is what our ancestors were using to wash their bodies, particularly when they had this thing of uh, the they call chicken pox, what they are calling now monkey pox. This is what they are bathing 
with and it will just heal everything even every scar of that uh, chicken pox which is now mutated to be monkey pox like for me I remember getting this uh, monkey pox when I was um, somewhere in Kisum I had a um, a boyfriend at that time from the Abagusi community who was called Makina and we went uh, to Kisumu in order to talk to his father because his father never wanted me to be a part of his family because of tribal background and come from uh, the Mobi and Gekuyo tribe, that is what they were saying, and they know that uh, whenever we are in their homestead, we love money. That is what we are always interested. But I would like to tell the uh, Abakusi community because they are just here, winning our life, doing everything, um, especially hating our bananas, in order for them to sell their bananas here. And like I said now, it's a time for the counties to sell their own stuff. The Abagusi community should sell their own bananas at their own home. The, uh, the Ugandan people are also uh, the other people here that are disrespecting our bananas and also they are disrespecting me. So I don't know even how many people they are doing it. Um, the same to the same thing. Lack of discipline. Communities here, they don't even respect where they are or who we are now. And it's a very, very sad situation because I can see some people now, that is after the fair of, we fell the Mau Mau, the Rastafarians. That is how we are regarded, but they called us uh, Mau Mau when they, they were hunting down our heroes. So, we need uh, to change that name. Also, we don't want to be called the Mau Mau because it's, it's kind of always remind us how the painful experience that we went through and some of these uh, white supremacies here, they are holding on to um, our lands, like uh, the tea estate that is uh, near us. 